ticket is already stamped for the knockout phase, but can they claim top spot and perhaps a favourable draw? It's coming up on EA TV. Hello, it's good to be with you, and we're broadcasting from what is a very special venue for all Australian football fans, Stadium Australia, here in Sydney. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we're down to the final match day in the group stage here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's Panama versus France. Thanks, Derek. Well, they've achieved their aim of getting through to the knockout stages. Can they now top the group? This should be a very good game. And the lineup for Panama. Well, it's a very defensive system which doesn't allow them to press the ball high up the field. So they need to stay compact, win back possession, and then counter attack from there. It's not going to be easy, though. Here's the side France will go with. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And the game begins. Viviana Sey. Really good challenge. Oh, terrific pass. There it is! The opening goal of this match, and what a start they've made. Well, as you can see, it's a decent strike, but I'm not sure about the keeper here. She can't be beaten inside that near post. So underway again here, one nil the score. Well, she really deserves credit for that challenge. Teammates in the middle. Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. And back now with Gonzalez. Possession one. A real opening now. Oh, a fantastic piece of goalkeeping. Well, she showed her class there. Closes the angle down, makes herself big. It's a really good stop. Over it comes. 
Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Gayogo. Now Gianni. There it is! Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Goal. 2-0 now, and back on the way. Kadija to Gianni. Toletti. France looking dangerous here. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Chance to run at them. Well, possibilities inside the box. Not messing around with that clearance. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So the action is restarted, and it's been a goal-scoring masterclass from France so far. You sense it's a question of how many. Majri. Useful-looking ball. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and the finish is really good. She just smashes that past the keeper. That's a top quality goal. A lopsided contest, 4-0. And now, passing it through. Oh, could be a chance. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, look at this again, because this is a really well-worked goal. The passing is incisive, the movement off the ball is bright, and it leads to a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a great goal. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Hernandez. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Baltri Breyes. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Oh, she's in here. 
Just cleared away in the nick of time. Cayenne. And a strong tackle. Grasgeoro. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Asayi. Determined defending. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Couldn't hang on to it. Shot attempted. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Goal! Well, it's an out-and-out out pasting. 6-0. Not quite the level of accuracy she was hoping for. And that'll be a goal kick. Pinson Espinosa oh, pressing really high and after that fantastic effort it's gone out for a throw in Sandy Toletti Sakina Karshawi well, spot on with that challenge and into the last 30 minutes now. Salazar. Cleared away comprehensively. Elisa de Almeida. A oh, terrific pass. And that is offside. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Sandy Toletti and Majri and the keeper was there she did her job and they're making a change who can they pick out 
pumps clear. Makes the move to the inside. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Amel Majri. And the pass could do damage. That's a routine take. Fifteen minutes left for play. Wasteful from France. Wonderfully weighted pass. Oh, that's a fine ball. And you cannot argue with a hat-trick. Simply unstoppable today. Goal! It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Elisa de Almeida. Eve Perisse. Gaioro. Coletti. And attempting the through ball. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Daisy Ray Salazar. Cox. On to Riley. Real chance. And there it is. And no wonder she's off celebrating. Well, here it is. Head down, hit through the ball, and get it on target. That's a top-class finish. There was no stopping that. The referee's whistle brings this contest to an end. Top team in the group. That's all they're going to be thinking about. Congratulations. Yeah, and they deserve those congratulations. They've been excellent in the group stages. Now they can put all their focus into that last 16 game. It's been a great group for them.